Hi Virgo, welcome to your June reading. Uh, this is going to be a reading for Virgo. So if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in the sign of Virgo, these messages are for you. Please take what resonates, ignore the rest. And also I may be mumbling and taking time to think about uh, the words that I'm trying to think of at this time. I'm filming this reading the day of an eclipse, okay? During Mercury retrograde, okay? I'm, I'm a Virgo just like you. It's difficult for us at this time, okay? We are ruled by Mercury, so just hang on. Please bear with me, please, uh, throughout this reading. Um, if you don't like waiting for readings and all that stuff, you can get early access, ad-free access to all of my YouTube content over on Patreon, and you get exclusive weekly readings. So you get like a video just like this, and I basically sit down and tell you guys like what you can expect for the week ahead, okay? So that's all on Patreon. A lot of you are asking me, you know, where's this reading? Where's that reading? And I always say it's on Patreon. Patreon gets it early. Okay, so shout out to Patreon gang. I love you guys. The link is in the description box to join Patreon. Uh, the link is also in the description box below for personal readings, one-on-one -on -one readings. Um, I may be sold out at this time, but I do still have availability for three months ahead video readings. Okay, so this is like a personal reading that I film. Uh, I pull all the, your cards for like life and love. We look into both. And then I email you the reading and you have a video forever. Okay. Anyways, let's get into it, Virgo. Are you ready? Okay, so first and foremost, Virgo, I pulled a few cards for the overall spiritual energy surrounding you. And I just want to tell you, Virgo, in June, there's a thin line between temptation and awareness. Okay, a very thin line. And I'll, I'll explain to you why in a moment. At the bottom of the, at the bottom of the deck, we have the uh, throat chakra card. And then I pulled more cards for clarification and I got the firm foundation card. So Virgo, it seems like you're doing well, you know, even though it's a retrograde and all that stuff. A lot of people are freaking out, yes, but you are kind of used to it. Even though this retrograde is a little more difficult than usual, okay, it's been tough. Um, I do feel as though you have a way with words still or you still are in a position somehow uh, a, a power okay i feel so you're still feeling confident with at least one area in your life things are going really well it could be in terms of love it could be in terms of finances okay you're feeling in your element somehow some way okay you're managing to pull it off at least okay so people are coming to you and they're like wondering like how you are so well put together like how are you getting this all done and you don't even have the answers okay but there is mention here of us needing to be careful not to be too greedy and too uh, demanding okay of other people even demanding of ourselves it's it's speaking here with the the, the awareness card I think we need self-awareness okay because we can't uh, we can't be everywhere at once Virgo we also cannot be uh, taking on everyone's demons okay at once we got to focus on us first and the shit that we have going on you know what I mean like we have to focus on us a little more but we also need to be sensitive to other people I, I'm not telling you to go out your way and service everyone you we're gonna do that regardless uh, I'm just mean self-awareness is important know your place in other people's lives and know your goals because there are going to be temptations okay so what I was saying is there's going to be instances where you're gonna want to double back there will be instances where you're going to want to maybe overspend because you're making more money now or you just suddenly have more money this year you know what i mean so we need to be mature we need to be self-aware we also need to be composed but we also need to know when to speak our truth and i see you doing just that okay i just don't want you to pick the wrong fights for it was like kind of what i'm saying uh we got the victory and success card here number six that's the sixth house in astrology that is ruled by mercury it's ruled by virgo okay so i feel as though work is going really great i feel as though you are being supportive at supported at work uh, your efforts are being recognized or you're at least doing amazing progress when it comes to work i feel as though you are outstanding that's what i'm hearing okay you are standing out from the rest and it's really due it's really thanks to your work ethic okay so that's something to keep in mind if no one told you you're doing amazing virgo i'm telling you right now because i'm seeing right here how hard you are working and i see success coming your way this month okay but we need to be aware of this temptation here uh it seems like you may have to take control back over your life about something it could be like maybe gambling or like just another like unhealthy habit coping mechanism okay there, we need to change and i think um 
The eclipse is also going to raise awareness for yourself of what needs to go. We are sh definitely shedding uh, an old part of ourselves at the same time, okay? And that is a process in and of itself, okay? Because when it comes to healing, a lot of us don't talk about having to shed the old parts, you know what I mean? Like the version of yourself that you have to bury. It's difficult. Anyways, let's look into finances and career for the Virgos, and then we'll look into your love life. I missed you guys. I hope that you are well. Turn on your bell notifications for these readings so you never miss, you know, when I pull up. I may have more readings coming through, so, you know, turn on your bell post notifications. Shout out to all my new subscribers as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, so let's see. Virgo, career finances, please. I, I don't know if, if I told you, but Claire audiently, when I was starting this reading, Virgo, I was getting that you shouldn't worry about something. Something is going to work itself out. I'm also seeing a color blue being relevant to you. I don't know if this has to do with the sea, the water, fish. I'm not sure. But blue. You may be dreaming that you're in the sea or you're somewhere blue. Uh, but yeah, light blue is your color this month. Okay, so let's see. Career and finances for Virgo, please. Career and finances for Virgo. Career finance for Virgo, please. Some of my Venus. Okay. <sighs> High Priestess. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Here you are, Virgo. You don't need to fold on your goals. You don't need to fold on your values this June. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Page of Swords. Page of Pentacles. I'm getting like if you're working somewhere two of the og people like one of them are leaving and like i'm getting like i feel so there's like two people that started something at the same time but one person is not following it through okay, let's see uh three of swords sorry three of wands uh the empress card in reverse two of cups interesting okay page of cups okay a lot of pages and then the three of pentacles. Okay, I'm getting a lot of gossiping in the workplace. Okay, I'm getting some people that like, I'm seeing one supervisor and like younger people kind of like being all over the place it seems, okay? I'm seeing you making a really positive partnership when it comes to work. This could be someone that you already know and you already vibe with, like this could just be your best friend. Okay, but I feel so, there's people at your workplace that you are really communicating with. You may be planning something at work, uh, you're exchanging ideas. Uh, this could also be like your peers. If you are in school right now, you're working on like a group project, but I see you really connecting with someone. It seems as though you and this person share the same vision. So it feels as though this is like either like a work partnership. It doesn't have to be one person specifically. It could be a collaboration between you and another company, for instance, okay? But I do see a very good profitable relationship. I see someone that's also putting you on, okay? So someone may be uh, telling you that a job has as openings like you should definitely follow through with that um someone may be like giving you some type of promotion to other people okay i'm seeing someone that is well connected and they are telling you kind of like where to go on things okay i'm also seeing a project of yours that you are giving up on um i feel so you have a lot of ideas but you just don't have the motivation to start something um virgos we have this really bad habit of not wanting to do something if we're not going to be perfect the first time we really do it and that's not a realistic expectation of how life works okay uh, that actually turns out turns into procrastination so that's one thing that i am seeing here there is an opportunity and there is this energy of like inspiration that is kind of nudging at you and wanting you to kind of like not only just think outside the box but like be more dynamic okay and i feel so we're kind of like we're kind of like folding low-key under this pressure, okay? It feels like the energy around us is telling you, Virgo, to take on the next step. It's like you're ready for something. It could be a new phase in your finances, okay? Like this is a positive change, okay? Uh, new phase in finances. Maybe you're thinking about moving or going abroad. Something here feels like a huge risk. Something feels like a really significant big move, okay? A big girl move, a big boy move. Like it feels like this is like, you know, but I feel so you're kind of struggling to foresee the future so you're not really wanting to take that initiative okay you're also i see you kind of like turning away from something that you feel won't make you look good or like something just doesn't seem profitable for you because of like a superficial reason okay so it's kind of like you're turning down a job because the uniform isn't cute or like it's something kind of silly okay so i need you to 
stick to your commitment when it comes to june okay whatever you have going on like i feel as though you're not you're not appreciating any minor inconvenience virgo but we need to remember this is just a minor inconvenience okay i see you sticking sticking to something something that requires like i said patience devotion okay um i'm really thinking about church right now and i'm not sure why okay but yeah with the high priestess card here i feel so we have a main goal in mind but we don't know how to achieve it we don't know how to attain it and i feel so a huge part of this problem virgo is just your inability to try something new if you don't know exactly how it's going to turn out but like are you psychic virgo like can you see exactly what your future holds because there's always going to be something left uh left to the unknown so like why would you tie yourself down to something that you don't want or you don't resonate with uh, whether it's a lifestyle a job a, a way of living like i said lifestyle why would you hold yourself down just because you don't know what the future holds okay a lot of you don't like your current situation i don't know if it's your living situation i don't know if it's the city you're in like you're just you're not liking it and it seems like you're not making the best out of your situation so this June, your challenge, your homework, Virgo, is to make the best out of what you got. Make lemons out of lemonade. Like, you have a lot more control than you realize. And it all starts with the mind. Like, what is your vision? Just because you don't have your vision right in front of you, and just because your vision requires a leap of faith, hard work, consistency, persistence, and you may not be amazing at it the first time. You may make mistakes. Oh my God, you may make mistakes go ahead and do it okay it's giving a lot of like just do it energy it's giving like you're more ready than you realize energy it's giving you have a support system surrounding you you have at least one person that's going to come through for you so fucking do it like it's it's kind of annoying me looking at these cards because it just seems a lot of like going and stopping like a lot of push and go and it's like this is your overall energy king of pentacles very determined you know how to make big decisions at the end of the day you know how to handle large sums of money so if you can handle the life that you're trying to manifest for yourself if you can handle these like goals that you have um at the end of the day then why not initiate to put more energy into the initiation portion because i feel as though there's a lot of research has been made on your end like you're researching something online like you're getting information you're definitely talking about it to other people or even just like yourself out loud i see you like pacing back and forth and like venting like talking like you ha you have all the ideas you have all the concepts in mind but when it comes to like action you're just you're falling short and that's why i see something ending before it even started like a very young project a very young idea that could have gone you very far that could bring you to this and you're kind of hesitating to welcome and embrace that type of change or that type of risk virgo i want you to to risk it don't risk it all but i want you to risk it this june i want you to be like what if though like what if i didn't only give 20 percent like what what would happen i'll tell you what would happen virgo you would be unstoppable and you would make some really important decisions that would bring you to very important people and they're gonna help put you on it's that easy i feel so you're just like three connections away to getting to being like a major influence you know what i'm saying so it's like do you and the right people are gonna find you okay let's look into your love life Make sure to look at your Venus sign for the love portion of these readings. But obviously, if you're Virgo, like rising or sun or moon, like you can keep watching. Like it's okay. It's not that deep. But I'm just letting you know, like watch the other signs as well, especially for your Venus for the love portions, okay? Obviously, just do what resonates, whatever. Okay, Virgos in love this June, please. I'm sorry in advance for the lighting because like the sun's about to set, but this is the only time that I can film. Oh, Virgos, over explaining yourselves. You know, it's something that we have to work on this June. You know, I just did it. Virgos in love, please. Virgos in love. Please show us Virgos love life this June. Virgos love life this June, please. Virgos love life this June. Virgos love life this June, please. Virgos love life this June. Bottom of deck, ten of wands. Damn. Don't be doing the most for anyone. 
Okay, Magician card in verse 4 of Wands. There's definitely a celebration here. Uh, it could be a birthday celebration. It could just be a gathering or an outing, okay? Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I love the energy here. I feel so you're having a lot of fun. You may be going out on dates. Uh, you're meeting people or you're forming a very a very strong relationship there's a strong connection here okay uh, especially if you're dealing with another earth sign um i feel so things are becoming tangible when it comes to your love life so whether you're single or in a relationship it seems like your dreams are slowly manifesting they're becoming a reality whatever it is that you had in terms of like long-term goals in love it's starting to happen especially when it comes to like settling down maybe even getting a house like long-term material goals are um becoming set in stone okay we have the ace of swords in reverse again careful how you talk to people and careful how you take things information is just not the best i mean communication is just not the best this month for you okay so do take everything with a grain of salt don't be so quick to attack or take offense uh, don't be so quick to criticize as well i do see some of you visiting your hometown or visiting a home a childhood friend there's mention here of like childhood uh, maybe you're meeting someone that is from the same city you grew up in like something like that okay for some you're just spending time with a loved one okay uh, someone that you feel is a soulmate so i really love the energy here it feels like love at first sight we have the two of pentacles in reverse followed by the judgment card okay the way that you carry yourself this june in terms of love is going to have a major impact on the cycles that you are starting at this time okay let me explain um there's certain things you know no one's perfect virgo okay so i'm seeing here that open-mindedness is very important when it comes to love this june because i feel as though you are currently battling not battling but you're like deciding which path you want to take when it comes to your love life which approach you want to take. okay so of course mercury retrograde means that i'm running out of space even though i made so much space and i was able to film like four 20 minute long videos last week but now that i deleted all those videos i couldn't even get through a 15 minute video Anyways, okay, so some of you are debating between two different types of partners. I'm getting a possible air sign versus like a, an earth sign. I'm getting like a cancer energy, like whatever. Who cares what sign? You know that you're dealing with two people if you are. Okay, but maybe that's where the temptation comes in. But basically what I'm telling you, Virgo, is you get to decide what type of cycle you want to adapt to um, when it comes to this June and when it comes to your love life. So decide, be very conscious about what life do you want to live, okay? And it's not just when it comes to love it's just like in general like overall like do you want to be uh, a bit more social maybe do you want to enjoy like the outside do you want to enjoy again socializing like are these things that you want to start working on do you want to maybe put yourself out there and be more confident because i feel so it's a very promising time i feel so you're making great connections you're meeting great people i feel so your love life is looking solid even though there may be some uh, annoyances here because the communication is off so i feel so you have to repeat yourself a lot which is annoying uh, but anyways virgo i feel so you really have the opportunity here to choose which life direction you want to go into like the judgment card is all about learning from the past learning from our mistakes and i feel so you are definitely addressing things that need to change thinking about things that need to change virgo i don't i don't know if you're like doing too much okay but the ten of wands definitely indicates that someone someone at least is doing a lot so i don't know if someone's like working double time to like acknowledge to for you to acknowledge them or the other way around but i just don't want you doing all the work yeah we have the death card in reverse yeah this could definitely be an ex coming back uh someone working again someone working hard for you to notice them and then we have the ten of cups okay so for some getting back with an ex may not be the worst idea and i never say that at all so please take that with a grain of salt i'm not telling you that your deadbeat ex uh, deserves you but i'm saying if you guys like actually genuinely care about one another or like i don't know if you have like children to oh okay so anyways i'm getting a divorce i'm getting a little separation i feel so something may be a little bit short-lived i'm seeing you visiting family after some shocking news or visiting family after a separation so either you or your family member like separated i just see that it's a possible broken home possible broken marriage um i'm also seeing though let's get back to the eggs i'm seeing a relationship that was on the brinks of failure coming back to life okay and that's why there is mention here of making a conscious decision because you can definitely have your fairy tale ending virgo like definitely 
like this is definitely letting me know that you've learned your lessons that even though you've been arguing and, and whatever it actually brought you two closer you know what i mean so it really depends on the ex that you have virgo but the cards are looking really good especially if you're like childhood sweethearts things of the sort okay but i definitely see mention here of feeling at home with someone feeling very comfortable with someone um whether you're meeting them for the first time or you you actually have history with this person okay uh so don't be so angry though don't be so quick to like snap on someone to criticize someone people are feeling a little sensitive at this time okay so let's get some angel messages Angel messages for Virgo, please. Angel messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know at this time, please? What does Virgo need to know at this time, please? What does Virgo need to know at this time? Virgo need to know at this time, please. What does Virgo need to know at this time? So at the bottom of the deck, we have in the near future. Okay, so that's your answer in terms of the time frame that you had in mind. We have abundance. Okay, so maybe abundance is coming in the near future. I hear that. Uh, we've got no. So if you have a yes or no question in mind, the answer is no. We've got success, of course, because I told you from the beginning, victory and success. And then we have within the next few weeks. Okay, so that's even more uh, specific about timing, uh, time frames, and things of the sort. Okay, let's get some Moonology cards. Like I said, I'm filming this during the eclipse. I can't believe I even got through a message, a reading, but let's see. Moonology messages for Virgo, please. Moonology messages for Virgo. Okay, it's not working. Okay. Please take a moment to like the reading to enjoy. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Okay, at the bottom deck we have conclusions. Oh, this is the full moon eclipse, so this is for you, Virgo. Conclusions are within reach. Hello? You are you you call for conclusions. Yeah, so conclusions are within reach. We've got nothing will come out of this situation. So maybe that's confirmation like in itself. Okay. Nothing will come out of this situation. We've got prosperity lies ahead because we keep seeing success for you, Virgo. So you're good. Uh we've got a win-win outcome is forecast. So again, no more fighting, Virgo. I'm seeing a lot of harmony surrounding you. A win win alchemist forecast and last but not least we have be bold and make the first move but virgo i told you what this is about you just gotta go to the beginning of this reading if you forgot already but you need to make the first move you need to initiate something virgo please i'm gonna let you guys go uh, have an amazing month and i love you so much bye